Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forever Sky Samurai Mat. Today, ladies and gentlemen, in order to actually progress in the game, you're gonna need two sources. If you got the cannon, and you have to get the cannon at the very beginning, you can get metal and you can get, uh, I believe, synthetics. But at some point, the game's gonna tell you, listen, I'm gonna need some plastics. At the very first time, when you're gonna fly your ship, you're gonna notice in the distance the red beeping, the red blinking of a, of a radio tower, of a communication tower. This is going to be your first destination. This is basically impossible to miss at the very beginning of the game. If you somehow have missed it, well, look for the blinking of, of a red light in the distance. See that one over there? It's probably a very similar tower as this one over here. Land on the platform. You can you can perfectly find land over here. I did I land? Yes, I landed. So, you're looking for plastic. You're probably wondering, okay, so how the plastic looks like and where I can find it. You can find it. I think you can find it on the communication towers, the radio towers. Later on in the game, which I don't want to spoil you, but you will notice it easily. And I believe also on the green tower towers, greenhouse towers, I think. I'm not quite sure. But basically, if you're looking for plastic, you need to look for, well, pile of trash. And you're gonna find lots of plastics. In the total, I found three over here. And if you're gonna keep searching for more piles, you're gonna be one mile pile over here. Two more plastics on this one. And I think there's more piles over there. And I think there's gonna be some plastics as well here. So if I'm gonna basically jump, there's one plastic over here. And there should be one plastic over here. And I think there should be one more plastic somewhere over here. No, that's actually no. Ah, there it is. Found some more plastics over here. So basically, on, by landing on one simple tower, I got in total 11 plastics. That's, well, that's a fair amount. It's not great. But it's not terrible. It could be worse. Worst? Uh, zero plastics. And, well, if you're wondering, you may actually acquire plastics even easier way. Because if you're gonna grab plastic for the first time, the game should unlock a research for you. If you're gonna have the research station, you should have the plastic scrap. You need to sacrifice one plastic in order to unlock this research. Once you do, the device will start working on it, and it will unlock your recipe for the fabricator. Because here, you can also make yourself some plastics, if... Ah, speaking of the devil. So basically that means, a new icon is gonna appear on your fabricator, which you need to have at the very beginning of the game. You cannot progress the game without the fabricator. And you're gonna have the plastic scrap over here, and for that, you need synthetics. You ask me how to get synthetics? Well, with the cannon that you start the game with. And if you're gonna look around, you'll see two debris flying. At least at this version of the game. You're gonna see two debris flying all over the place. The round ones, those ones. That one, that one, that one, that one. That's that's all synthetics waiting for you for the grabbing. The spiky ones are metal, so you can ignore those, at least for this recipe. But there are, as you can see, there's, I think that's 25 per flying stack. So it's basically impossible to not have plastic in this game because you're gonna be drowning in synthetics. If I'm gonna actually be fast enough. There we go. Ah, it's five synthetics. Okay, I've made a mistake. It's five synthetics per, per frank scrap, and you need 20 to get yourself one plastic scrap. And plastic scrap is later on required to build, well, a bunch of stuff. If I recall, you need it for... Let me just remember what I need it for. I believe you need it for... Some furniture, but I don't have it actually unlocked right now, but you will need it I started a new save file just to be on the same level as a new player So this is not my normal ship that I go for the let's play uh, But yeah, this is basically how you require if you need to plastic So I hope you have enjoyed let me know what other guidance you want Let me know what other guidance you will need and I'll gladly make you uh, because yeah, as I said I've, at the moment I finished the first chapter of the game so, if you want to see it for yourself, what I exactly did, you can follow the normal Let's Play, it should be somewhere around on, on YouTube, on my channel. But, if you require specific videos for guidance, guides or whatever, let me know, and I'll try to actually figure out how to make it as simple as that is humanly possible. Uh, because, well, I want as much people as that is humanly possible to enjoy this game, because I really think that this is something awesome. If you enjoyed Subnautica, if you enjoyed Raft, you're gonna love this one, because it, it feels like a combination of the two. It, does, it doesn't feel just like a normal Raft game, it feels like a combination of Subnautica and, and Raft, which is great, because Raft, while it's a great survival game, I think it has a terrible story. On the opposite, opposite side, Subnautica has a great story, but it's a lousy survival game. I mean, I love it, but it could be better. And this one, 
well, it combines both of it, and I love it. So I hope you can enjoy it. And for now, though, I'm gonna do this thing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.